10 potential ways to get ripped off when you're on that cruise. We don't want to see that happen, so we're going to give you the heads up. Hey guys, I'm Michael, and welcome to Cruise Control. If you enjoy cruising, we offer tips and maybe a little help that will help you save some time and money. So hey, hit that subscribe button and come be a part of our cruise family here. And what we're talking about here is actually good things, but used in the wrong way can really cost you some money. All right, let's start with number 10, which is the drinks package, the onboard drinks package. Now, if you already know, hey, I'm going to booze it up and party down, then you know what? The drinks package may save you some cash, but for a lot of people, it doesn't. First of all, for many of the cruise lines, the drinks package isn't unlimited. It's like 15 drinks, I think, with Carnival. Uh, now, the drinks package can be 50, 60 bucks a day, something like that. And if you're only going to be drinking, you know, two or three drinks a day, that's not going to pay you to do that. Two or three drinks, even four drinks, is not going to cost you $60 on a cruise. So, you know, just be aware of that. And if it's if you're not going to use it, don't purchase it. Okay, next. Number nine, excursions. Excursions are great, but also can be a ripoff. Do your homework on this. There's a lot of great excursions out there all over, uh, anywhere you go, really. But there are a few that can say something like, oh, we'll take you to a private beach, lunch is included, uh, you know, and you're paying $70 for something that when you get there, you find out, I could have done this myself for free. But take you to the beach, dump you out, there you are, you know. Um, easy taxi ride would have worked just as well and saved you money. So when, when you're planning excursions, what I'm saying here is just do your homework. Okay, number eight is going to be the onboard spa. This is not a bad thing. The spa offers a lot of great services for both men and women. Uh, haircuts, facials, massages, several things that can really be relaxing. But if you're going to take advantage of it, make sure to check to get the best price. They do have sales, and oftentimes when you're ported on port days, uh, there'll be like a half price sale. Check, uh, check things out like that to, to get the best bang for your buck when it comes to the spa. All right, number seven is onboard shopping. Now, there are tons of onboard shops there. Uh, everything from clothing, jewelry, accessories, candy, you name it, they've got it. The prices aren't cheap, but sometimes they do have sales here again. And the other thing is, there is a onboard shop that, say you forget your sunscreen or your sunglasses, your USB charger cable, things like that. What I would do here, make yourself a checklist. Make sure you have those items. You can buy them on board, but it's going to be a premium price. So, yeah, onboard shopping could be a potential ripoff. If you're going to do it, look for the sales. Otherwise, take with you the things you need so you don't have to buy them on board. Number five is going to be your stocked refrigerator in your cabin. Oh, yeah, soft drinks, water, beer. These are going to be at a premium price also. So if you're planning to, you know, pull something out of the refrigerator and have it, be sure you check the prices there on the price list. There will be a price sheet there in your cabin. Um, why not walk down the hall and save half the money, <laughs> really? Okay, next, number four, which is somewhat related, is water. You know, you're on a cruise ship, you're out in the sun, you want to stay hydrated. Bottled water is very popular for most people these days. But what you can do ahead of time with most cruise companies is you can order your bottled water online before you get on board. Have it waiting in your in your cabin for you. You can get a case of water 
for about what you'd pay for one bottle of bottled water on a lot of cruise ships. What I do is I'll get like two cases of water. It's like 10 bucks. Two bottles of water on board, you're probably going to pay 10 bucks. That's just a tip because um, that's to me, that's a rip off. OK, number three. I'm going to call this onboard competition. And what I'm talking about, this is not new. It's onboard auctions. The cruise ships now will have onboard auctions. It may be art auctions, jewelry auctions, things like that. And what this does, this creates competition between people. And people end up buying something that and paying a fortune for it that they don't even want, really. It's, it's the competition factor. The other thing is bingo. Bingo's a lot of fun. I don't do it very often, but bingo is a lot of fun. And it is a chance to win something. It's competition. But overall, who's really winning is the cruise ship. Be careful with onboard competition. Don't get carried away. Number two is dining. Dining, basically, you can eat all week for free. But a lot of people do enjoy the onboard specialty restaurants. And they are really good, just about every one of them. It, yes, absolutely. However, everything in moderation. You know, if you take, say, a family of four, you go to the steakhouse three nights out of your cruise, that's like $35 a person. You've just added about $300 to your cruise. Here's another tip. Instead of doing that, why not, when you're in port, some of the islands, check out the food there at the island. You may find something there that you don't find anyplace else, that you, that's not available anyplace else. And why not save you money for that? And that brings me to number one, which is a potential ripoff disaster. Two things here that are the most dangerous thing on a cruise ship. A child turn loose in an arcade with a key card with no spending limit and the other thing is an adult turn loose in a casino with too much alcohol and no spending limit both of these ouch please be careful i hope you kind of get the gist of where i'm going with these um everything in moderation really but the thing you don't want to see is the wife says, Hey, honey, I want to go to the spa, get my face done. The husband says, Sure, go on, no problem. Okay. She says, Okay, I'm going to go by the onboard shop here, find me something to look good to go. The husband says, Okay, I'll drop the kids off at the arcade and turn them loose so I can go back to the cabin and have a couple of those beers in that refrigerator. And later, I'll meet her back at the uh, casino. Ooh, I do not want to see your bill at the end of the week of that cruise. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, again, hit that subscribe button. Check out our cruise gear listed in the description below. We've added a bunch of new stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name's Michael, and I will see you next time. <laughs>